March 31st, Wei Song was found passed out in a washroom of a residential building in Seoul, and his whereabouts right before he passed out were captured on CCTV and shared by MBN. In the footage, Wei Song got out of the taxi, glanced around, and then made a call. A moment later, he was seen meeting up with a man in a parking lot, and after exchanging a few words, he received a black bag and chicken contents. The man is predicted to be the man who sold Wee Song the sleeping medication, and in a police testimony, Wee Song confessed, I made a drug deal with someone I met online. Wee Song was wearing a mask and hat at the time, and 30 minutes after he was seen entering the building, he was discovered passed down by a witness. According to the witness, there was a bag containing needles and bottle fluid at the scene, and Wee Song continued to shiver as if he was convulsing. At first, he couldn't even understand what I was saying, and he gave me very strange answers. Wee Song was tested for drugs, and he was found to have consumed sleeping medication with no illegal drugs detected in his system. But the sleeping medication he acquired is impossible to buy without a doctor's prescription, which could be a problem for Wee Song. A police informant stated that we saw confessed to having used proper form recently and that they secure evidence as well. In light of the two back-to-back -back incidences, We Song's agency, Real Slow Company, released an official statement detailing We Song's current state. This is Real Slow Company. First, we apologize for worrying fans with unfortunate news. As a result of We Song's father's passing and passing of the friend shortly after, and difficult circumstances last year, Wee Song is having a very difficult time. On the day he was discovered in a public washroom, he had left home and cut off all communication with his family. And after testing negative for illegal drugs during his police investigation, he was sent home. But after returning home, he still had thoughts of committing extreme acts and showed signs of depression and panic, so he was hospitalized. He is currently partaking in mental treatment and he is also cooperating with the police on his investigation. He will continue to actively participate in the investigation and he will continue his treatments with his family as soon as it is complete. We some feel very regretful and apologetic for his negative actions. We sincerely apologize to everyone for the worries we caused. According to SBS 8 o'clock news, Wee Song was found unconscious in a hotel in Seoul at around 9.15 p.m. on April 2nd, just two days after he was discovered in the washroom of the building in Seoul after injecting himself with sleeping medication. The first time around, it was revealed that Wee Song used the sleeping medication that didn't fall under the category of illegal drugs allowing him to be released after just a short investigation. But just two days later, Wee Song was found once again in a hotel washroom with the same needles and bottles of sleeping medication that he used the first time. According to an expert, the drug utilized isn't an illegal drug, but it's a prescription drug that can be obtained without a doctor's note. Regarding the most recent case, the police captured with some withdrawing cash from an ATM and are currently investigating the most of how he obtained the drug.